Hey y'all, Hot Rods Woodshed here. So I've been building a Cerro Scotty camper lately and I've noticed a lot of people have been asking and inquiring about how the procedure was, did, they, did someone build their camper, what did they do, how did they approach it? And I'm gonna condense this as quickly as possible. And this is my approach and how that I did it. Okay, contrary to what everybody else did or says, I do not build the cabinets on the inside after the sides are, are attached. I do not do that. That I, What I did was when my sides are plywood pieces and I cut them out and then I join them together as one, three plywood boards for each side. Then I cut them out. I figure out that I wanted 48 inches from the bottom corner up to the window here. So that's where my first seam of plywood goes. So while I had them together, I cut a little notch, or you can use a pencil, but I just cut a little notch like with the jigsaw, like a little cut line that would reference exactly parallel, okay? Then I would bolt these on the, or screw these on the sides of the frame, okay? Now, where most people would at this point put the kitchen cabinets on the inside, I do not recommend doing that. For me, I cut the plywood, and we'll say that this is plywood, I cut the plywood for the front and the roof all at one time. I think I ended up with like five or six sheets of plywood, lay it on a sawhorse, stack it up, make sure it's straight and square, and cut it to length so you ensure all pieces are square and they're all exactly the same length. Using this line that I determined right here, and you can determine wherever you want yours to be, I started my first piece of plywood on that line right there, making sure it is flush with the outside here and stapling it all the way down. Okay, then I come over to this side and do the very same thing, making sure that that edge is flush with that line and stapling it all the way down and making sure, absolutely sure, that it is flush with them with the sides. Any variation you have will throw your measurements, throw your camper out, slightly out of whack. If you've got this, this, this lined up and this lined up and you've got it on the mark here, then your sides will be parallel and you don't have to worry about being straight up and down. They will be automatically square their self up. They will be where they need to be. And everyone seems to think that the cabinets give you all your strength to the camper. They do give a significant amount. I will admit that in the center, but they don't really do much anything on the edge. They Not really. So that's where the plywood comes in to give you the strength for the edge. So as it wraps up over the top, you just keep stapling it, stapling it, keeping it flush with the sides all the way up, and your walls will be parallel. And as you're going up, as you put sheets on, it's good to put like a two by two or whatever piece of wood you want to put in there. I put those pieces of wood after the plywood is installed or while I'm installing it. I never put those on first and then put the plywood on. I just don't do that. I mean, you can, but that's not my preference. I put a two by two here approximately and one approximately here. That way I have the headroom in between these two because this is the area where you stand the most is right in here. So when you're sitting on the seats, that is above the seat. It really doesn't hit your head. So that's how I did it. And mostly what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is put some kind of re reference point here while these two pieces are together and put your plywood edge on that reference point and, and use that as a starting point in which to wrap it. After you get the first few sheets up on the front, then, then I think it's perfectly fine then to put the cabinets in. But this is gonna give you like your, your most of your strength is this plywood edge right here. 